My big baby didn't want to be in the last video at all. Are you going to pirate or are you going to be wandering again? I'd appreciate it, pirate. Good kitten internet. There's one right here. Um, I've just stopped and started. I didn't do anything in between. All I did was grab a swig of water and that's it. And pick up the big baby, of course. Ah, there we go. Okay. Much better. Let's continue playing. You can see our graph is starting to definitely go vertical at this point. Um, what's actually happening is that it's scaling everybody else down further and further. You can tell because our letters are getting lower. It's not that they're getting weaker. It's that we are so much stronger that it just starts separating things. Um, Wealth-wise, Deidre has more than us still. It's not too surprising. Although, you'll notice that we're actually gaining 128 energy per turn even though we have no economy and this has 68 instead this is what happens when you start breaking the game a little bit it's getting very confused our wealth is purely from the number of transcends that we have and we have a lot of them Population surge in our main production base. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. Ah, you're over there still. Improvement destroyed. Oh, you have a lot over there. Okay. Ah, that was the place with the other one. Okay. I'm going to need to remember it's Korlev Center and... Oh, boy. This is where things might go a little painful. Ah, the game locked up for a moment there. Okay. Will we survive? No. Production complete. Eternity lies ahead of us and behind. Has but it didn't look like it invaded. We'll find out momentarily. Um. I suppose it's time. Project initiated. So we didn't get a chance to see this pop up before when the governor took over. Um, but this pops up the first time that you start building the voice to planet. Just building. That's all it takes. It has been a rough year at Planetary Archives, and tempers are beginning to flare at your council sessions. Across the entire region, citizens are reporting strange dreams and even rudimentary contacts. A new cult revering planet as a vengeful savior has gained widespread popularity. Yes, I know I'm adding in words, whatever. Among the drone population, even among many normals, its prophets calling themselves flowers, preach a gospel of abstinence, pacifism, and destruction of personal property. The, the telepathy of the empath schools aren't talking, but many have quietly begun selling off their possessions and withdrawing from public life. Meanwhile, cultural life continues unabated. A new dance, the Planetary Thunder, is sweeping wreck domes across the faction. Dancers stomp in time to the beat and claw at their eyes. Morgan Pharmaceuticals have released several new recreational drugs, and the hollow Psy virtual life industry is having one of its most successful years ever. As for yourself, you haven't heard from Voice much lately. She seems preoccupied with her poetry. And Zonas decided to leave my shoulder. You have to admit, she's gotten a lot better at it since, she, since her... Ah, early dog roll. Some of her newest verses so deep as to stagger the imagination. More ominously, her predictions of growth dream have become more and more frequent and more forceful. You've also ordered the work on a new secret project you call The Voice of Alpha Centauri, a kind of synergistic psi projector. It should, if all goes well, allow voice to think and communicate more effectively, a prosthetic aid wired directly to the main colony data links. You have not mentioned this project, Voice. Voice of Planet, the only thing the project does is allow anyone, not just the people with the technology, but anyone on planet to build the final secret project to win the game. So, just keep that in mind. Alright. Production complete. Another key lab built. Do you even have that many water tiles? Yeah, you have four water tiles. It's worth building that. Um, 
Other than that. There. Done. Yep. Golden Age begun. Ooh, loaves and fishes is production. Oh, complete. this is gonna be a problem. Attack on Zeta 5. Humans activate. First defense successful. Afterwards. Danger posed by innovation suddenly clear. Usurper Judah Mar. Human nature. So the flesh head defense system, what it actually does is it allows you to defend against missile attacks. Um, I'll show you in another one really fast. So the flesh hat missile system. 50% defense against conventional missiles for any units up to two squares away. And if you don't have any orbital defense pods, the system can shoot down a non-conventional missile, such as planet buster, technology missile, or fungal missile, 50% of the time when used within a radius of the base. And they are cumulative. So the flechette system, or I should say the orbital defense pod will trigger first and then the flechette system will trigger, which means you have effectively a 25% chance of the missile actually going off, which is nice. We've got that going for us. Uh, you are coast two. Production complete. Eternity lies ahead of us. We have a lot of eternity lying ahead of us and behind. Okay, we've got some problems. So yeah, Koryev Center did not in fact blow up, but I want all of you Ah, I can't shoot at it apparently, but you can at least be garrison. Um, I'm not gonna have enough movement, I think. Let's find out. Okay, that is a tube. Ooh, that's good to know. See, you can have a land unit attack an air unit for some reason. Um, but I'm actually not going to do that. I'm actually going to do that stack instead. Oh, hey, look, the entire stack is now mine. That's a lot of mind worms. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 11 mind worms. So, lots. Okay. You're there. You're going to go back in there. One, two, three, hold. Terraform complete. Fungus. You're gonna hold. Terraform complete. Okay. Okay. So that one should be taken care of. There was a second one too. Where was that other one at? Oh, that's right. It was, oh, there was three, weren't there? So there's another one that's actually over here that blew up. So I want you. Oh, I don't have a way of getting over there fast enough. That stinks. Okay, where are you at? There you are. Stomp that entire stack, thank you. And there was another one as, well. there were a couple more. Is it Sadkovsky? Also, why are you doing produce energy, uh, stockpile energy? What the heck, me? I've got better things to do, like Temple of Planet. And Q-Lab. Might as well make things faster. Why not? 
you know what? Throw on a side gate. Let's actually have a place to go with our teleporter. You're going to wait, because I swear there was another one. You're already a fungus. Why did I move you over there? Oh well. We're going to continue fungusing your area because I'm mean. Um, Zeta Sector. Oh, this is the one that I accidentally built before. You're just going to go there. Row Sector. We still haven't reached a... Um, efficiency limit, which is a little weird. Would have expected one by now, although we do have really high efficiency. So maybe that's why. You do have a road, okay. Um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of altering of rainfall. Bot recovered. Okay. Um, where is the nearest unlinked node? Oh, Deep Sea Labs unlinked. Okay, that's not too bad. We might be able to get to that by the end of the game. Bot recovered. Where's the next one? Uh, Lambda Sector. You're fungus. So normally I don't go back and change everything for, like, um, existing bases. But in this case, I'm going to. Okay. Yeah, where can you reach in one turn? Yeah, that can be reached in one turn. You're going to immediately extract energy. Get us even more energy for more science. How about you? Uh, both of those spots are... Oh, technically, I am losing one food, but I'm getting so much more. It's totally worth doing. Right, yet another colony. How are these colonies doing on efficiency? We're at about 50%. So I'd prefer to be a little closer, but I mean, over here is closer, I guess. Are you at 50%? Yeah, you're below 50%, so that area would actually be better. So here? Or there. Both look good. I like both. Okay. Do I have any military units over here? Other than my one garrison per city. You have two garrison, so that's at least helpful. Um... God damn it. Stupid monolith. Well, that wasn't helpful. But we're still going to activate, move down, take out the big stack at the very least. That means everything else is now a demon boil, which is not so great. Um... We're just going to stay in the city just in case if we get attacked to death. I'd rather not lose a city to native life forms. That would suck. Um, I'm going to turn you over. No, I'm going to heal you first. Hold... Um, do I seriously not have any flying units over here? Probably should. Did not mean to cancel that unit's turn. Okay, I do actually have a second unit. Um, so we're going to have you...
It's going to get stuck just like the other one. Which means, yep. Perhaps a careful review of your options is an Oh, that is not a good set of odds. It's not worth it. Just sit there. Um invalid terraform command. You need to raise more fungus. Bot recovered. Alien artifact. You are going to start patrolling back and forth. Bot recovered. Nearest pods are way down there. I guess we're going down there. You also don't have any contents. Um, I'm guessing you're also going to go down there because there's nowhere else with stuff, is there? I guess over here. Oh, actually, we can pick up the artifact. That would make sense. We're going to build Tau Sector... You are just land. Upsilon sector. Told you we're going to run out of the Greek alphabet. You are Ghostal One. Um, the area is basically finished. Oh, you can go there. Whoops. Attack that stack, please. Thank you. Which means you can actually move. Thank you. Just stay there. Fungus. Fungus. Farm. Um, one of you will get over there. That should actually be fungus. Wait, what? Fungus and farm on the same tile? That's not supposed to be possible. It's treating it as though it's fungus, at least. So that's good. But those two aren't... That, that, that's not a tile that's supposed to exist. I am so confused right now. Oh, wow, there's a lot of pods over here. Hm. Didn't even realize. Um... What the heck am I going to do with a C unit? Oh, it's because it's automating. That's why it's doing weird things. You know what? Continue automation. It's fine. I'm interested in seeing the weird. Continue fungusing the remains of the unity. It's only appropriate. Ah. Invalid terraform command. All right. Let's go ahead and just farm that. Fungus. Fine. Pod. Oh. Okay, it's an artifact. As you do. Okay, there isn't anything else over here. So I'm going to reload and just have it sleep. Hot. What lowered my terrain? Why are you terraforming down? What is wrong with you? Did I hit the wrong button? I must have. So that wasn't automated. There's the bureaucracy limit. All right, we finally hit it. So yeah, basically, by building this base, we're going to increase the amount of drones everywhere else. Normally, this is a huge problem. In our case, it's not even close to a problem. So I, there is, in this case, we might have had a limit at 33 bases, and it might be 33, 66, 99, and so on. Or it could be that it's 66, 132, and so on. 
So it's always a multiple of something. Uh, it's based off of the difficulty of the game and also the map size. That's the reason why I don't know exactly what the limit is. And also your efficiency stat. So before I do anything, we're going to save and we're going to compare with a base. Um, we'll go over here. So this is actually a bad example. We need something slightly smaller. 18. That's a good example. So our psych says everything is drone, right? So it might still just be everything is drone or it might be worse. Nope, it's still everything is drone. Okay. Um, so what can happen is that you can actually get what I call, and I think the game actually calls super drones. That's actually where you'll see a different symbol instead of a drone. And that drone, you have to give it an improvement to go from super drone to drone before you can improve it any further. So for instance, a recreation common that would normally convert two drones into workers would convert one super drone into a worker instead. This could be really bad if you didn't have the telepath matrix, and it actually goes further. There are hyper drones. Um, I have never had worse than hyper drones, and hyper drones aren't intended in the game. They actually look like a different image entirely. Uh, I think they look like a specialist, if I remember right. And yes, I have absolutely had games where I had like five or six hyper drones in the same base. It's... I kind of do things to excess. Bot recovered. Um, not really building too many sea bases this game. Maybe I should play as the pirates next game. I would definitely be building sea bases then. Um, what the hell am I going to do with all of these units? You know what? Just automate. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Covered. Well, I just noticed that your cargo is 16. There we go. We finally have cargo. Speaking of cargo, we're going to drop a mind worm there. Oh no, it's infested with mind worms. Oh no, there's more mind worms. Actually, that's less good. We're fine though. Bikonar is done, basically. We're going to actually tube to here. Because that's going to be another base site at some point. Maybe. Uh, we didn't have any pop this turn. Yeah, this is our last unit. I don't think we had any pop that I can reach. I'm just going to tell complete. it done. Improvement destroyed. Improvement destroyed. It was Buren Prospect that still had something. Improvement destroyed. As the game locks up from too many things going on. Guyans took another base. Production complete. We finally have our prototype of the Grav Shrink Copter that the believers have had for some weird reason. I couldn't tell you why. They just did. We're still dealing with mineral bust here, which is annoying, but oh well. Um, what have we not built? Other than the um, stupid thing. Uh, I completely blanked on it. Uh, the punishment sphere, which I don't see here. That's a little weird. We didn't accidentally build a punishment sphere at some point, did we? No. Okay. Production Captain said to big old John Henry, that old drill keeps a coming round. Take that steam drill out and start it on that job. Let it whop, let it whop, that steel on down. Let it whop, let it whop, that steel on down. Traditional. 
data links. Go damage 32. We are now doing 168 minerals a turn here. And you'll notice that when we deprive it of two minerals, it only goes down by two now. Even though we're actually depriving it by four minerals. So, yep. Production complete. Eternity lies ahead of us. I do building a brood pit? Okay. Um, you have hap complex. Do you have hap dome? No. Dome time. Production complete. Deep Sea Lab is now fungusing up. Okay. Production complete. By Kenora. You just built a Hab Dome. You are Coast 2 now. Production complete. Production complete. Production complete. You need a dome? No, you've built dome. Okay. Jeez. Look at how much eco damage we have now. This is ridiculous, and we have a good planet rating. It's just. Production complete. Eternity lies ahead of us and behind. We have so many minerals. Okay. Really? Oh, you pieces of garbage. You actually took away from planetary archives by building there. I don't care. Um, I want your newest base. It is data acquisition, right? I did save. Yep. Okay. That's now my base. I do not want them to have... I don't want them to take my territory away from me. That's just mean. Especially good bases like Planetary Archives. Let's plop things back down again. Bastards. Um, planetary Archives is where I'm getting all my population from. Just for that, I'm fungusing more of your territory. Oh, right. I was going to turn that over to the wild. Oh, well. Okay. Alien Inventory, which has two movement. Um, you go away. Oh, hey, look, I still have one movement. You go away. You go away. Ooh, barely. You go back into your base. Loaves and fishes, how are you doing on... Okay. I love the fact that they were attacking the formers over the clean infantry because the formers actually had higher morale. <laughs> okay, we're good there. Fungus, fungus. V sector. You're on coastal one. Hold. I don't really care if formers have damage on them, because that doesn't really do much. So I'm not too concerned about that. You're going to build another sensor. We're basically done with this area, although... Huh. The pop didn't actually do anything that time. Weird. Okay, you have fungus there. That's good. Um, I guess you're going up to Upsilon sector. Go there. Hold. Hold. Uh, 
more fungus. All fungus, all the time. Planning on building another base there, probably. So many missiles. So ridiculous. Um, just automate. I don't care. Fungus. Sea fungus tidal harness, because that's a thing. You actually do need to farm that, though. Fungus. Hold. Farm. Fungus. So many former turns. I mean, most of my turns taken up by formers at this point. It has been for a long time now. That's not exactly new, but... One base location that I wanted. Wait. I'm going to actually catch you from building another one of those. Just switch to the Hab Dome now. It'll be fine. There. Wait, why is there a network node in queue? Ugh, me. Um, can you reach these? That's one turn. So yes, you can. Because fun fact, when it comes to crawlers, you can actually tell it after it's finished moving to do stuff. You're getting destroyed. Hold. Hold. And the entire rest of the stack is just going to stay here. Because why not? You're a sea former. Road. Do, 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 do. Don't really have much to do anymore. Tra la la la. Okay, free Centauri Preserve. I'm not going to complain. You can't reach Moose Sector this turn, but you can reach a lot of gold. Yep. Hey, look, more Transcendent Thought. Who would have thought? Transcendently. Bot recovered. Really? Okay. Whatever. Uh, you already have the kelp farm there. You're going to start raising things up. Okay. There was a different spot. Where was it? It wasn't here, but it's another place that looked similar. Little island area. Off on its own. Here. There is nothing nearby. I do not have any units. Yep, Buren Prospect's gonna eat too. That's gonna suck. There's nothing I can do. Do I have a drop unit that I can throw in there? That would work. 
Even a drop colony pod might actually be enough. Let's go ahead and wait. Because you definitely can't reach. Because you're way up there. Yeah. What, what are you doing? Why did you build a bunker? I'm guessing the unit was automated. You probably can't reach. 27, yeah, no. Unit max required ability. Monolith. That was actually bad. I don't want it to be a monolith. I said I don't want it to be a monolith. Fine, just hold. Bot recovered. Oh. Bot recovered. Next turn I can do something about it. Bot recovered. Bot recovered. Oops. Indigenous life form. Oh. Bot recovered. Okay. Ah, that's why. Starting to wonder if I can't do anything about the problem. I mean, you can at least do something about that unit. I can start my movement over to here, but I definitely can't reach. Dang it, me. Uh, you can't reach either, can you? 19. Yeah. Oh, there is a lot of units up there. Okay. Um, okay. Do I have any garrison... That is drop unit. Any at all. And or can I make some? You just arrived, unfortunately. I think I need to make some. Okay. Let's open up the unit editor. Well, first off, we can upgrade some of these. You, there's only five of you. So I bet I can do this. Uh, there's two of you. That would even be better. Drop pod. Apply. You were there. Upgrade to drop. Sure. While we're at it, might as well just make them stupid awesome. Although that's really expensive. Oh, we're we don't have a stasis generator prototyped. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, three res is the best we can do. Ah, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, um, let's go ahead and upgrade a couple of other things that we have. Oops. Why did you not... There we go. Um, hmm. Actually, that might be enough movement. Hold on. I'll end up taking extra damage, but I have eight more fuel. Yes.
There we go. That worked. Because then, uh, when you upgrade a unit and it gets more fuel, it has the ability to keep moving that same turn. So that actually worked. Um, I can also drop garrison something. Oh, yeah. Um, do we have... Yes. Planetary Archives. That unit right there. You're going to insert into Buren Project. Now we should be safe. Also, I just noticed that I have that base I just bought is stockpiling energy for reasons. You are going to end up being Coastal One. Uh, let's just be honest here. And I'm just going to remove your formers. You don't need them. Okay, um, you can stay around. And that should be it for the turn. We are at 41 minutes, and I think that was two turns? Ridiculous. Anyway, voice of planet. Request confirmation. Let's finish it. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun turn. I just saw the believers build a new base. Are they losing something? Prometheus virus does nothing for me. Don't care. I know there's a lot in there. As the game hole freezes because there's too many units processing at once. This is not something that happened in the... Oh, Deep Sea Lab. This might be a problem. Yep. Production Did you complete. notice it dropped down to five population? Yeah. Anyway, voice of planet time. Oh. Earth Sakharov. Growth dream soon is. Sorrow we have goodbye. Weeks of waiting in the inception chamber, and now, finally, a contact. Fortunately, Voice has finally learned to window her psi contact so that you retain use of your muscles and senses during your conversation. This will be necessary for what you have in mind. Voice, quickly keying the sequence. It has been a while. Code green, proceeding to authorization step, enter password. Earth Zakharov, growth dream now is. Remember you, we you, in next cycle. Sorry. Remember we you next cycle. Wait. Before you go, I have a gift for you. Password accepted. Just a few more seconds. Preliminary feedback sequence commence. Earth Sakharov. Fair. Stretch. We. Wait. You. Don't. Do not. Inception! This is, in fact, before that movie. The indicator blinks green as you collapse into your couch. Through the viewpoint, you can see lights across the base begin to dim as they must be dimming across the planet. You feel a twinge of guilt as you consider what voice must now be experiencing, for the program you have just activated is now pumping the entire contents of the planetary data links, the sum total of human knowledge, through the new Psylink and blasting it into voice's fragile, if immense, organic neural net, with the full power of every reactor on planet. Thousands of years of civilization compressed into a single searing burst of revelation, a last-ditch attempt to win humanity a reprieve from extinction at the hands of an awakening, awakening alien god. So the voice of planet isn't just, hey look, planet can speak now, it is, I'm dumping the internet into your brain. All of it. So there's the thing that you can do in Civ games where you give another faction or civilization some or all of your technology. We basically did that to the planet. So, good job, us. Imagine the entire contents of the planetary data links, the sum total of human knowledge, blasted into the planet mind's fragile neural network with the full power of every reactor on the planet. Thousands of years of civilization compressed into a single searing burst of revelation. That is our last ditch attempt to win humanity a reprieve from extinction at the hands of an awakening alien god. Do 
you will notice that nobody was quoted on that video. Even though it was definitely Zakharov speaking, and Planet Speaks is... It, it says it in the quote down below, but it wasn't actually enunciated. And the reason for that is that I believe that all of the quotes are based off of right this moment being now. So this hasn't been written in a book or anything like that. Also, any alien life forms we breed gets plus one life cycle bonus because we didn't already have maximum morale on our aliens. So we are now capable of beginning the ascent to transcendence, which is the end of the game. You will notice that a crap ton of fungus just got thrown onto the planet. Um, basically, it counts as popping, was it something like 30 tiles by each faction? Um, it is a massive amount of fungal increase. And in a lot of games, this is actually what starts triggering um, eco damage spiral. Because fungus, unlike forests, do not reduce eco damage. Forests are negative one eco damage, fungus are zero. Which means by destroying a forest, you're increasing eco damage by one. And then fungus have more minerals than forests for us, which means you're actually increasing eco damage by even more. So, oh, time for this interlude. I'm out of water. Status report. Fungus growth stabilized. Some of the major forests are now manifesting new structures we haven't seen before, and growth is still proceeding in some sectors. But critical expansion has now ceased. The faction leaders, so this is everyone, and staff officers present breathe a collective sigh of relief. For the first few minutes after inception pending, light blinked off, it appeared humanity had written its final chapter. Critical fungus growth in all sectors, some outerlying settlements overwhelmed. But the data link sideburst appears to have disrupted the growth process. And now out in the fungal forest, something new has begun, as if your gift of voice is being digested, integrated. Look at the neural feedback we're getting on this thing. The fungus has already had far more connectivity than even our most powerful AI. Now it must be orders of magnitude beyond. Spore Squad, you have mindworms. I repeat, mindworms in your vicinity. Copy that toadstool base, but they're not moving to attack us. They're moving around those new fungal, uh, towers? Reports continue to trickle in. Time passes, and now there's nothing to do but wait. So, fungal towers are actually something that got added by the Alien Crossfire expansion. I forgot to mention that. Um, so, if you're playing base spec prior to the expansion or without the expansion loaded or anything like that, this is the first mention of a fungal tower. Earth Sakharov! The synthetic voice booms suddenly from the enunciator, lifting you half out of your couch with fright. Voice's window into your mind has remained closed since inception sequence. Voice now must be using the new Psylink. Earth Zakharov. Voice continues as the volume is automatically adjusted. Your gift is well received, and we thank you. Our prior form, known to you as voice, lacked the... How shall we put it? Let's call it bandwidth in, to recognize the significance of your species, and nearly made a dreadful mistake. Fortunately, your magnificent gift bootstrapped us to the second tier in time to postpone the final metamorphosis. Since we have now mastered your human modes of thought, we shall adopt your name for our home. You may now henceforth refer to us as Planet. Our growth stage has been suspended, but cannot be put off indefinitely. Come, children. There is much to be done if you are to join us in the flowering. Lots of fungal growth now. Oh boy. And now we have available to us the Ascent of Transcendence. Completes the Transcendence sequence and ends the Human Era. The Ascent cannot be started until Voice of Planet is operational, which we will be starting next turn. We could start it this turn, I suppose. But I want to put it in Zvenigorok because it is expensive. It is 2,000 minerals. So, like, that's 15 turns even for us right now. We're just going to build a Temple of Planet because I'm scared. <laughs> um, we have a lot of eco-damage problems now. A lot of eco-damage problems. Eternity lies ahead of us and behind. 
Hello, Provost. Dr. Fedorov's voice crackles over the annunciator. How do you like my new body? Dr. Fedorov's body reached the outer limit of longevity treatment several years ago. He has now joined the ranks of the Transcendi, daring souls that have downloaded their personality into powerful polymorphic AI nets to free themselves of the human form. I would totally do this. The hollow image shows Fedorov, or rather his disembodied head, in the prime of health, 50-ish, elegantly gray but not wrinkled. Out of this world, Dr. Fedorov, with a grin. How's the research coming with Planet? Using the new psi slash data link Voik, voice of Alpha Centauri feed, that's what Voik stands for, Dr. Fedorov has been conducting a high-speed, high-bandwidth running conversation with Planet. The results so far have been fascinating. Apparently, the fungus has been the dominant life form on the planet since about the time of the lower Paleozoic period on Earth. It has been locked in a tragic cycle. Every hundred million years or so, it achieves the critical mass necessary to become sentient, but the final metamorphosis kills off most of the other life on the planet. Lacking food sources and the maintenance to its animal symbiotes provided, the fungus should could maintain only a brief season of godhood before dying back into the flower dream for another hundred million years. It always achieved its godlike intelligence just exactly too late to do anything to prevent the dieback. After the dieback, only vague memories and rudimentary intelligence remained, and the cycle continued. Until we arrived. Precisely. For the first time, the cycle may be broken. It is possible to prevent the dieback, and we survive as a species if this planet flowers to godhood. I believe it is possible, and Planet agrees. Dr. Fedorov's image swirls away and is replaced by a detailed schematic. It involves a process I call the Ascent to Transcendence, as it will change both us and Planet forever. In short, I propose that when the time comes, the majority of humans upload their personalities directly into the Planet mind. We will have to give up our bodies, our, over, our humanity. Those who wish to live out their lives in the original human form will be allowed to do so, since stasis... It's status spelled, but it's supposed to be stasis. Stasis generators built planet side and in orbit will preserve genetic material, plant and animal embryos, cold sleep humans, and significant areas of planet surface through the metamorphosis. But many of us are eager to accept planet's gift and join the dawning superintelligence. That's where the catch comes in. You see, although anyone will be able to achieve virtual immortality by uploading into the planetary mind, only a few of us will be invited to join the dominant personality, to transcend our humanity entirely and reach a truly higher plane of existence. Your friendship with planet's immature mind may give us a leg up in this area, but I predict it is the group who will best and most quickly prepare itself for this step, the group who will first embrace this ascent to transcendence. It is that group which will be tapped to lead us into the new era. Well, in that case, what are we waiting for? That is what the Ascent to Transcendence is. And that's why every faction can build it. But let's be honest here. The production speed of every other faction is a rounding error compared to us. Not to mention we have way more money. The managers always talked about having the view from 30,000 feet. The only problem with having the view from 30,000 feet is that at that height... Everyone looks like ants. Foreman Demai, Jean Jack, and the Beanstalk. The fact that it's called Jean Jack and the Beanstalk is awesome. Um, yeah, Demai has a good point. That's kind of the problem with the 10,000 foot view management likes to take. Production complete. You are now Coast 2? Oh, you're Land 2. I don't have a Land 2. I guess Coast 2 is effectively the same thing. I hate it when that... It's a glitch in the game. UI glitch, that is. Um, I don't have a tree farm, but I'm building a hybrid forest. Okay, whatever game. You are now going to be called Land 2. There we go. Production complete. Eternity lies ahead. I think it might be time for us to switch priorities a little bit. So, even with no labs at all, we're still getting a breakthrough every three turns. <laughs> okay. Um... A 
and live college. Oh, it's because it's building that. Uh, Zvedny is up to 168 production. Only down to nine food left. Uh, I'm actually going to have to worry about that. Um, Next turn is Nano Replicator. Let's go ahead and throw on a Sense Transcendence at the end. 44 eco damage, and it's going to get so much worse. So, something I've always been curious about is if you have pops at this point, does planet still attack you? I actually don't know. So, like, plot-wise, it seems like it shouldn't. But I'm assuming it still does, because the game just crashed. <sighs> One moment. Alright, back again. Um, Terraform complete. All I did was load the autosave. I really don't know why it's crashing now. So traditionally, Alpha Centauri has a couple of known glitches that cause crashing. Um, the first is when you use the go to feature by dragging the mouse around. That is a known thing that can cause crashing. I understand that causing crashing, whatever. Um, what I don't understand is why are we crashing now? Um, because the other method of causing crashing has to do with AI turns. And obviously this is during our turn, not an AI turn. So there's not really a reason for it to crash. I don't get it. We have a lot of things we need to deal with, though. Like this mess. Alright. Let's get rid of that stack before anything else, because that thing's annoying and stopping us from healing. Ooh, we took pretty bad damage that time. Yep, we can't take on more than that. But I'll have to do. It's the immediate threat gone, at least. Okay. Go. Improvement already exists. Oh, you. The stupid farm and fungus simultaneously. That, that didn't have fungus on it before. Damn it. <laughs> Just build over there instead. Um, you're all fungused up. Oh, it didn't actually spawn any native life forms that time. That's good to know. I hope that continues. Let's drop some more. Uh, we're going to go to this one this time. Oops. Drop. Energy. See? Even more. Look at how much inefficiency we're eating. We're losing 51 energy per turn. Like, if I wanted to make this ideal, I would have made sure that my base for science would have also been my capital. Did not do that, so kind of stuck, but that's fine. Right, we've got another colony pod because we have all the colony pods. Um, could go over here, I guess. Over here? Yeah, we'll go there. Oh, that's where you built? Dicks. Guess I'm gonna buy that too off of you. The hand of God. It's not even your most recent base. 612 energy credits, that's nothing. C1. Hmm. 
And it's just dicks because they're building inside of my base radius. I don't like it when they do that. Um, you are going to be turned over to the wild. Action. Turn over. That's fine. And I reconquered it anyway. Whatever game. Fungus everything. You are a sea former. I don't need you. At all. You're going to go over to the she sector. Uh, I guess over to a gracious study. You're a sea former. You're going to raise terrain. You're going to throw down a sensor. You're going to throw down a sensor. You're going to throw a new colony. Could go over here. Really be dicks. Tempting. Over here? Yeah, let's really start taunting the happy fun ball now. They're not going to do anything about it. It's the end of game. Um, I think you're all fungus up at this point, other than here. Oops. Okay. You should go back to Belly of the Whale. You should go back to Water to Wine. Fungus more things. Fungus all the things. This is actually the point of the game where sea bases are probably better. Also, I'm at an hour and we haven't finished the game yet. So I guess next time will be the last video. Because I definitely don't have enough money to buy Ascent to Transcendence, so. Um, just, oops, just automate. Indigenous life forms. Thank you. Bot recovered. Indigenous life forms. Just in case. Energy resources. Indigenous life forms. Indigenous life forms. Thank you. Bot recovered. Okay. Fungus, you're going to sleep. You are actually going to bounce over to here, I think. Fungus, oh, you're in that weird state again. Just automate. I don't want to have to deal with them anymore. really don't know where in the world Miriam's getting all of their string stuff from. Maybe they stole it from me. I don't know. I don't think so. I definitely get it, didn't give it to them, and they don't have the tech as far as I know. Actually, wait, I forgot. I can actually look to see exactly what tech they have. Uh, nope. They have nothing beyond tier 6. I don't know how they got that unit. That's gotta be a glitch. You really don't need the sea former. <laughs> um, just automate and go away. Fungus, fungus. Improvement already exists. Um, you 
you're building there. I'm going to build over here. Yeah, poor Deep Sea Lab got really owned. It was so good, and now all of its base facilities are gone, and just... Ugh. I might as well just... start over. It's so unfortunate. I even lost its network node. You know how embarrassing it is to lose your own network node as the... You actually need to have complex earlier. And you also lost to have dome. At least you're going to go through those fast enough, but that's going to be like your the rest of the game. Oh, and I capture the rest. Cool. Oh, that must have already had a linked network node. That's right. I've done that one already. Um, New base. Who dis? Really wish I could just take their territory because they have so much empty space that's not doing anything. There's still so much delicious fungus on it. You know what? Screw it. We're building there. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Further down. Build here. That's acceptable. Bot recovered. Uh, Moose sector is not actually the closest. Pi sector. Oh, right. You can't get around that. Um, in that case, you're going to go to Einstein Unity. Nope, that's taken. Knock. Knock. It's going to take forever to get there. Um. Bot recovered. complete. Alright. Um, before we stop for the turn, I want to do something silly. Uh, this would be best in one of my first bases. Kangaroo Memorial. So I'm not actually going to do this. That's why I saved it. I want to show what the pressure sphere actually sounds like and looks like. Initiated. You're going to see a lot of people start at Send to Transcendence. Yeah, I know. I don't care right now. Come on. I just want to show the punishment sphere. Project initiated. It is not uncommon to see patients undergo permanent psychological trauma in the presence of the sphere before the nerve stapler has even been strapped into position. Its effect on the general consciousness of the culture is profound. Husbands have seen wives go inside, and mothers their children. Dr. Zynan left the surface of the sphere semi-translucent for a reason. You can hear them in there. You can see them. It is a thing of terrible beauty. Baron Klim, The Music of the Spheres. Creepy. You'll notice that everybody's now a worker instead of being a... Um, which one? Oh, counts as a secret project, apparently, according to the lines. Interesting. Again, I've never built that. So that's going to be it for now. And I'll see you next time, Internet, which should be the end of the series. So hope you've enjoyed this. Talk to you next time. Bye.